And make sure to watch to the end because I will show you one trick that not many people talk about that will increase the quality even further. So let's start. So you can see here I have added my clips to the sequence. Now I'm going to click on sequence here, click on sequence settings. And now I want to set the time base against 30, which is what Instagram use. Then go down to frame size. We want to set this one to 1080 and then the next one to 1920 like this, which will make a vertical frame as you can watch it on your phone. Then just leave all of these settings here and click on OK. Then you want to confirm by clicking OK again. If you're using horizontal shot clips like I have been using here, you will get these black bars. But if you have been using your phone, then you're all good. But I will show you how you can fix this real quick. So to do this, simply click on one of the clips in the timeline. Then you want to go to the effects control. If you can't see it up here, click on window. Then go down to effects control. And now you will see it up here. Now we want to increase the one called scale, so just hover over the number here, click hold and drag to the right to increase it. And we want to increase it all the way until it fits the frame like so. If you want to position the video in the frame, you can go ahead and use this one on the position here and just drag to the right or to the left as it fits the best. Next up, if you have a bunch of clips in your timeline, instead of clicking on all of them individually, which would take a lot of time, you can instead just go ahead and right click the one we have already fixed, then go to copy, now press Ctrl A or Command A on a Mac to select all your clips, then right click one of them again and click on paste attributes. Here you only need to check off the motion, so we can go ahead and uncheck the opacity and time remapping and now click on OK. If we now scrub through the other clips, we can see those are fixed as well. You might have to click on them and then change the position if it doesn't fit. Now I will show you how you can export your video in the highest quality possible. So in your timeline, you want to start off by pressing I and then go to the end of your video like this and press O. Next, click on export here to open the export tab and start by giving your video a name. So this is the file name of your video. I will call it Instagram upload. Then just click on this blue link here to set the location where you will find it after you have exported your video. Make sure you know where it is. And then it's the format, this one most people will tell you to set against H264, but I have done a bunch of test uploads and I have found that using the H265 actually gives the highest quality. So I will choose that one like this and then the preset will say custom and then it's all good. Now go to the video here, just click on it to open it. Now you want to click on the match source. And then it will set the right resolution, frame rate, and all of that good stuff. Next, click on more. And here you want to make sure that the render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality is checked off for the highest quality possible. Then, if possible, set the performance against hardware encoding. Set the tier against high. And scroll down until you can see the bitrate settings here. Here you want to set the bitrate encoding against CBR, which will ensure the highest quality possible. <laughs> now, when it comes to the bitrate, there is a bunch of speculation on the internet and you will get a lot of different opinions from the experts. The most important thing here is that you don't set the bitrate lower than your original footage. An easy way to make sure you're not doing this is to just find the place you have saved your videos, then right click one of them, click on properties, go to details, and here you can see in my case that the data rate is 2500 kilobits per second, which is the same as 2.5 megabits. So if we go back to Premiere Pro here, 
I could actually set it to 2.5. I could just double click the number here and change it to 2.5 like this and then I would be good to go. But you want to set it a bit higher because then you will have a bit of a buffer when Instagram is going to compress your video. I'm going to set mine to 10 like this and now you want to set the quality to the highest. For the audio just make sure it's set to AAC and that the bitrate is 3 20 and then it's all good. Once that is done, you want to set the range against source in slash out, then just click on export. To upload the video to Instagram, I recommend doing this from the phone because I will show you a very important setting to get right there as well. So the easiest way to get your video to the phone, for me at least, is by using the Google Drive. So open your favorite web browser, then go to google.com, click on these dots here, go to Drive, next click on New File Upload go to the folder where you set the file location here is mine i would select it and click on open and once it's uploaded find your phone now from your phone if you're using a android like me you will already have the uh, drive app pre-installed for iphone then you could use cloud or you could download the drive app now simply open the drive then go to where your video is located here you can see my video click on the three dots and then click on download. And next up, I will show you the secret ingredients to get the highest quality possible. So open the Instagram app, go to your profile, click on the three lines in the upper right corner, click on settings and privacy, scroll down until you can see the data usage and media quality click on that one then you can see an option that says upload at highest quality make sure that this one is enabled then you will get the highest quality possible on the front page you can simply click on this plus icon here and then you will most likely see your video right away so simply select it and click on this arrow pointing to the right here click on next then Click on share and like this video if it was helpful and thanks for watching.